Hi guys, welcome back to our course on NumPy. In our previous lecture, we covered the rand int method and today we are going to do some more examples based on the methods offered by the random module of NumPy. So let's get started. So let me just write Python 3, hit enter. Now I'm going to import NumPy as np and hit enter. Now today's topic is some more examples on the methods offered by the random module of NumPy. So we'll try to do some mixed examples. So first question is create a 1D NumPy random array and sort it so we have to create a 1d numpy random array and we need to sort it so let's move on to the solution first of all let's create the array let the array name be a so a is equal to np dot random dot rand and let the number of elements be six now let's print the sorted array so i have to write print and in bracket i have to pass np dot sort and in sort i have to pass e so this is the sorted array you can see that it has been sorted according to the ascending order so if we got the sorted array and we use rand method to create a random numpy array Or we can say we use the rand method of the random module of numpy to generate a random array and we used the sort method of numpy to sort the array so this was a mixed example now let's move on to the next problem So next problem is problem number two create a 2d matrix of dimensions 2 cross 3 that means 2 rows and 3 columns so create a 2d array or a matrix with dimension 2 comma 3 that contains 6 random numbers between 2 and 6 so let's move on to the solution so I have to write array name or ARR is equal to np dot random dot rand int this time I need an array that contains integer values and I have to pass the start stop as 2 and 6 and I have to pass the dimensions of array as a tuple so that is 2 comma 3 now I'm going to print this array so you can see that I got a 2d array with dimensions 2 comma 3 or 2 rows and 3 columns and it contains random numbers or random integers between 2 and 6 so here we constructed a 2D array or matrix with the help of rand int method. Now let's move on to our third example or third problem. So problem number third is use numpy random number function to generate at least thousand numbers between the range of one to one lakh 
or hundred thousand and after generating we need to perform some operations so we have to generate an array of thousand numbers and the range is one to one lakh or hundred thousand and we need to perform some operations on it so let's move on to solution so first of all let's create the required array so i'm going to write arr is equal to np dot random dot rand int and i'm going to pass start stop and the number of elements so in this case it's thousand so size is thousand now the first operation is or i can say that the first part of the question is to sort these elements so i have created an array with random integer numbers from 1 to 100000 and now i need to sort these elements and store them in a new array so the new array name or arr new is equal to np dot sort and i'm going to pass the array name now i'm going to print the original array first so you can see that it contains randomly distributed numbers and i'm going to print the new array now so it is sorted now I'll scroll so that you can see clearly the first one was the randomly arranged numbers and second one is the sorted array now the second part is to determine the maximum and minimum element so part 2 is to determine the maximum and minimum element from this array so we need to write min element or min le whatever variable name you want to give and that is equal to np dot min and we need to pass the array name and similarly for the max just replace the min by max and i'm going to print these values now so print min le as well as print max le so the minimum element is 268 and the maximum element is 99905 you may get different values as we are working with random numbers now the third part of the question is to determine the average or we can say the mean so for that i have to write arr mean or whatever variable name is equal to np dot mean and i have to pass the array name that is arr now i'll print it so the mean of all the values is around 50,252.304 and now fourth part of the question is an assignment for you that is find the mod the median and standard deviation for this data contained in the array so in today's lecture we solved some questions based on the methods offered by the random module of numpy that will be all for today this video is brought to you by programming knowledge please like comment share subscribe and hit the bell button for updates and stay tuned with us for next lecture